Okay, we are almost finished. We still have some touch-ups to do, but this is what we've done so far. This is my grandmother's chandelier back there. Came from her house out of Wilmington, North Carolina, and I really wanted to use it, so a friend of ours, Vernon Gower, reworked it for us, and so I put it over there. Then over here in the kitchen, we just did standard cabinets because we were on a major budget. Here's our little eating area. But we made our island just out of a couple of cabinets and then kind of dressed it up with some barn wood. And we just went with butcher block countertops because we were on a budget and they are, I like them and they're not expensive. So now we'll go back to the bedrooms. This bedroom in here is still a work in progress. It's kind of the catch all the junk room, but it's pretty cute. We did the ceiling out of um, barn tin, old barn tin, and we made a light out of a minnow bucket. And then over here is the other bedroom, kind of our guest room. We made the headboard out of barn wood. We used the old shutters here in the corner when we have a guest I just put them in the window because I like to be able to completely take them down so you get lots of light in here and this is the bathroom back here which about killed me I laid the tile in here with my father-in-law and I've never done tile work before in my life so I don't know why I thought I could start with the bathroom but anyway so we just did a wall over here with barn wood and shelves we did a big shower which is nice so when we get old we'll be able to get in there And then this is our mud room. And this was the last room we did and we were pretty much out of everything. So I just told Robbie we're gonna use what we have. So every wall is kind of different. Over here, we just used antique doors that came out of a log cabin that was torn down and relocated. So our father-in-law and his wife gave us the door, so we did that. Did the ceiling in barn tin. It was rusted and it was kind of dark, and so I just put some paint on it. And I think it turned out pretty good. And then this door. We used to live in a historic home in Decatur, Alabama, and my friend was gonna throw this door away. And so I took it and just stripped the old paint off of it and kind of distressed it a little bit. And I like it because I like to have things that can be repurposed. So anyway, that's the downstairs. Okay, we're gonna give you a sneak peek of the upstairs. We're not finished up here at all, but you know how it is when you move into a house. It takes a while, because you get lazy, you get tired. But anyway, um, here's a barn door we have here. My office is inside. See, I have a little library in here, and I won't take you into my mess, but uh, that's my library. And the headboard, my wife took a door, 
turned it sideways, made a headboard out of it. And this is the door that goes out to the deck. We have another barn door here that um, has a closet behind it. So this is just a little sneak peek. We still have work to do. As you can see, we don't have the wood on one side of the window, so don't look too hard at this video. Uh, trim is not up around the bottom in places, but we did want to give you an update because we haven't given you one in a while. So hope this helps you.